we got to talk about five doom stocks, what they mean for the stock market. These are stocks that have been broken. Uh, the first one is Microsoft, one of the most widely owned stocks in the entire stock market. It uh, got smashed through all support over the past couple two days as it broke through its long-term 150 and 200-day moving averages and is now just floating on its horrible October low in the market dump back then. Its earnings were bad yesterday, but they weren't that bad. Uh, and the news itself does not justify a 10% drop in share price. Uh, and that's very disturbing. Uh, the next stock is IBM. It broke in October and it's failed to recover. And when stocks break like this, uh, what happens is everyone that's bought here is now at a loss and they're selling out. And that makes it very difficult for a stock to recover after breaking down. And that's why Microsoft is now in a dangerous situation because everyone who's bought since October is now at a loss. Another stock that's breaking is Intel. Bam, it's broken below its November and December lows. And it's touching its 150-day moving average. Uh, the trend is down. Another stock that hasn't completely broken, but is performing in a very negative fashion is Google. Yet again, one of the top and most widely owned technology stocks. Uh, it's been in a downtrend now uh, since February of last year, and this is my relative strength plot comparing the performance of the stock that we're analyzing with the S&P 500. As you can see, it's in a, in a decline also. What that means is Google is underperforming the market. When the market goes up, Google barely goes up at all. When the market falls, Google gets smashed. Not a good sign at all. Another stock is uh, Tesla, uh, which was a high flyer stock. Uh, two years ago, as it went from like 40 bucks to 300 bucks, but then it peaked out in February, and just like Google, is lagging the broad market averages. Now, all these are good companies. Uh, none of these companies are going to go out of business. Your odds are, look, I pushed, I'm, this video is being hosted on YouTube, owned by Google. We're using Google to, uh, right now at this moment, to communicate with one another. But the problem is that these stocks are very overvalued. We're in a bull market that started in 2009. We're now going on the sixth year of this bull market. And everyone has been chasing these things. And all bull markets come to an end one day. The peg ratio of Microsoft, for example, is two. And one is fairly valued. All these stocks are very highly valued. And this has disturbing ramifications for the stock market as a whole when some of the most widely owned stocks are now breaking down and they're overvalued and, and people are suffering um, and uh, the internals of the market are breaking down. I did a video below this one way back in October or very end of September when I issued a warning with a friend of mine about the internal breakdown that was taking place in the stock market, it's still happening, and that's why now Microsoft and Intel are breaking down. Other stuff broke down in October, but now the, the breakdowns inside the stock market are spreading. Uh, it's becoming very troubling. Uh, now, when I said this in October, I was suggesting that this was basically the end signs of the bull market or going into... Uh, topping phase and that's what's happening and been playing out ever since October and it's going to lead to a full-blown stock market as the market averages as a whole at some point go below the long-term moving averages following Microsoft, Intel, IBM in sectors all over the place uh, uh, down and, and that will be very troubling once that occurs. Yes, we will get bounces. We'll have times to get out. And not everything is falling. There are spots of, of uh, things going up, asset classes going up, you know, that I'll talk about in, in follow-up videos. There's things I'm invested in I think are going to go up and make us all a lot of money. But there are warning signs in the U.S. stock market. Uh, go to the below video if you want to see the warning I issued in October when I first started two issue warnings and uh, stay tuned for follow-up videos is uh, will keep you updated 
to the situation.